Hi, this is Brother Sean with eLearning Brothers. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use our video cutout characters in Adobe Captivate 8. Um, in Adobe Captivate 8, you have two ways of creating projects. You have a responsive project and a blank project. The blank project, we are going to be using the Flash Player Publish settings. And on the responsive one, we are going to be using the HTML5 compatible format. So let me first start off with the blank project. And I've already downloaded a few video characters, so we'll just go ahead and um, go and insert those in. So the first one we'll do is go to Media and then Insert Video. Now this is going to be a very similar technique that we use for um, our Adobe Captivate 8 uh, software. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the multi-slide synchronizing, go Browse, go find our FLV video format. That's the one with the transparent background. And in this, uh, using the blank um, file format for this project, we're able to leverage the, the power of um, the Flash Player. So when we publish this, it will be published as a Flash Player. It will not work on mobile devices, but it will work on the desktop and maintain that transparent background. If I was to put the MP4 video file in, it will not have a transparent background, but it will work for mobile devices. So it's a trade-off. If you want transparent video, you have to have it with the Flash Player. If you don't need the transparent background, you can, you can use the MP4 with the white background. So I'm going to select the FLV, click Open, and we'll leave that as the default setting for progressive download, video on stage, and then if you want to distribute this across multiple slides, you can check that. I'm just going to um, you know, modify my current slide duration to accommodate the video and click OK. And then after the video is placed onto our slide, you can reposition it and move it however you want. And then we'll just go ahead and go ahead and do a quick preview and show you what that looks like. And the character will show on here. Now you can obviously reposition it anywhere you'd like on the stage to accommodate the content that you may or may not have. You can move that down. You could actually hold down shift and keep it in proportion, scale it down if you want to make it a little bit more of a full body shot. So that's how you add our video um, cutout characters onto a blank document in the Captivate 8. All right, now let me show you how to add the video cutout character to a responsive project in Adobe Captivate 8. So I've got a project open up right now. Let's go and click on Media and Insert Video. We're going to do the multi-slide synchronized video. And let me just start over here. All right, now let me show you how to insert a video cutout character in a responsive project in Captivate 8. We'll start with clicking on our media icon and inserting a video. Do a multi-slide synchronized video and then we'll browse for our file. And in this case, we're going to use the MP4 file format. Keep in mind that when we do projects in responsive layout in Captivate 8, when you publish it, it's always published as HTML5 technology. And that technology does not support a transparent background FLV video. So there is no, uh, there's no way for us to actually have a transparent background using the HTML5 technology. So if you were to put an FLV in, just know that the that Captivate is actually going to convert that to an MP4 format and it's going to throw a default black background in. The MP4 has a default white background and that's the one that we're going to use in, in this tutorial. We'll leave this as the default progressive download. We'll put the video on the stage. And then if you want to distribute your video across multiple slides, you can check that. But this example, I'm just going to go ahead and modify the current slide duration to accommodate the full length of my video and click OK. All right, and the video is placed on my background. I already have a white background. I can go ahead and shrink this video down if I want, reposition it anywhere I'd like on the stage. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over to be at the beginning of my timeline. And then if I were to let, if I was to preview and play this right now, the video would fade out right at the end of my slide. And what I'm going to do to stop that is I'm going to go ahead and insert an interaction and then a button. 
and I'm just going to hide this button and this is what we're going to do is make it kind of force captivate to stop the video just about a half second before the end of the video and that's going to freeze my video so that you know the character actually stays on the stage uh, before the learner or the viewer will click to the next I'm going to change this to be a transparent button take off the caption and we'll just kind of hide it by turning the opacity to zero and then the stroke to zero also and now that'll just be a hidden button that no one will see and you know you could actually come in here and take off the actions for it also and just put no action so that's not clickable at all and there's no uh, you know hand gesture or anything for it when we publish it so let's go to preview this and see what it looks like we'll do the next five slides and there's our character showing up with the white background you could obviously put your content around her over on the side or rescale her as needed you notice that my video slide my slide uh, pause because of that button that was down here and the button's not clickable either so um, anyway that's how you insert video cutout images into Adobe Captivate I hope this has been helpful for you thanks